Medication aids in the improvement and extension of our lives through the cure, treatment, and prevention of disease. However, it is possible that failing to store and dispose of unused drugs properly will result in significant health, safety, and environmental problems. Scope Care was founded to assist carers, family, friends, and patients undergoing and recuperating from major heart surgery. It is a specialized organization that focuses solely on the cardiac rehabilitation process, providing healing gardens, online resources, meal plans prepared by medical and healthcare professionals, and counseling and support for patients and their loved ones on a holistic recovery journey. In the treatments of many ailments and diseases, pharmaceuticals are pretty beneficial. However, if those medications are no longer required, it is critical to properly dispose of them to decrease the danger of exposure through accidental or intentional misuse of medication. When it comes to medicine disposal, the terrible reality is that many people are unaware of how to dispose of their expired prescriptions. Many people forget about the medications they already have at home, while others choose to flush or throw away their unwanted pills. As a result, tablets frequently end up in landfills, water supplies or in the hands of children or potential abusers, among other places. Consumers should be made aware of potential disposal issues and trained on the proper procedures of discarding unused medications to safeguard the environment and our communities. What not to do with unused prescription medications? Although many people grew up in homes where it was common to throw expired medications in the garbage, leave them lying around the house, or flush them down the toilet or sink, these habits can have significant ramifications. There are three primary reasons why these methods of disposal are both insufficient and potentially unsafe to us. It harms the environment. The improper disposal of prescription medicines might result in pharmaceuticals seeping into the water supply. In recent years, various pharmaceutical-related substances have been discovered in streams all around the country, including our drinking water supply. A study at the University of Illinois found these compounds have been linked to various pharmaceuticals, including antibiotics, antidepressants, steroid treatments, seizure meds, and pain relievers, among others. Unfortunately, these compounds have the potential to harm individuals, but they also pose a hazard to marine ecosystems. According to research in several animals, including frogs and fish, these prescription chemical leftovers have been shown to cause behavioral, reproductive, and developmental abnormalities. According to a study by the Associated Press, drugs permeate aquifers far underground, contaminating 40% of the nation's water supply. Additionally, inappropriate disposal of drugs is not limited to merely consumers' actions. The Environmental Protection Agency EPA, reported that livestock farms, hospitals, and nursing homes are all significant sources of prescription medications that wind up in our waterways. Because septic systems and wastewater treatment facilities are not designed to remove medical compounds from water, there is currently no procedure to remove traces of medicines from treated water. Therefore, even if you opt to dispose of your prescription medications in the trash, they will likely wind up being pushed into wastewater treatment facilities. It has the potential to cause unintentional poisoning. Approximately every 15 minutes, a child under four will die from an accidental overdose of drugs found in their house. Accidental drug poisonings result in twice as many emergency department visits among children as poisonings caused by other household chemicals, such as cleaning solutions. In addition, children and pets can quickly gain access to old medications that have been left insecurely in a home rather than adequately disposed of after they have been used, resulting in accidental poisoning. Children are inherently curious. When pills are left around the house, especially brightly colored ones that might resemble candy, they can pose a serious poisoning risk to young children. Every year, more than 60,000 children under the age of five mistakenly consume medication or overdose on it. Even more concerning, research has discovered that a small child who got into medicine when a parent or caregiver wasn't looking is responsible for 95% of unintentional medication overdose visits to emergency departments. It has the potential to open the door to abuse. Potential drug abusers may have easier access to pharmaceuticals that have been improperly disposed of because of improper drug disposal. Especially in light of the growing opioid epidemic across the country, it is more critical than ever to ensure that medicines are not within easy reach of anyone who could abuse them. Among the fastest rising drug problems in America today, prescription medication misuse has been categorized as an epidemic by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention of the United States of America, the CDC. 
In the United States, an overdose-related fatality occurs every 14 minutes, resulting in 100 deaths per day. Unintentional prescription opioid overdoses now account for more deaths in the United States than cocaine and heroin combined. People who abuse prescription medicines are 7 out of 10 times more likely to receive them from friends and family, and often from their medicine cabinets. This is particularly concerning because it involves children as young as 12 and 13 years old who report misusing prescription medicines at a higher rate than any other form of substance. According to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, many young people are under the impression that prescription medicines are safer or less damaging than other types of drugs. In addition, many people are unaware that prescription drugs are the fastest growing drug problem in the United States, rather than cocaine, heroin, or methamphetamines. Therefore, it is essential to understand the fundamentals of prescription disposal to properly manage one's medications and reduce the likelihood of old pills being abused. How to properly dispose of medications that are no longer needed. It is possible to have a variety of reasons for wanting to get rid of old medications. Perhaps a person no longer needs their prescription, or they did not utilize as many pills as they anticipated, and the prescription has expired. Persons must follow proper practices for disposing of waste, regardless of the situation. Programs for the Disposal of Unused Prescription Drugs The Drug Enforcement Administration DEA, organizes National Prescription Drug Take-Back Days on several occasions throughout the year to provide a safe, convenient, and responsible method of disposing of pharmaceuticals. The Drug Enforcement Administration has collected more than 9 million pounds of pharmaceuticals from the general population on medication take-back days since 2010. Furthermore, the initiative has experienced a rise in participation, with the most recent event held in the fall of 2017 collecting a record-breaking 912,305 pounds of prescription medicines. As a result, several governments and counties are getting involved in take-back campaigns by starting their programs to lessen unwanted medications' public health and environmental consequences. Earlier in the year 2018, five New York State hospitals participated in a six-month drug take-back pilot program in which they collected unwanted prescriptions for free. Residents were encouraged to drop off outdated or unused drugs for free through the use of collection kiosks and prepaid mail-back envelopes provided by the initiative. The DEA's National Take-Back Day website includes a collection site locator and further information on national, state, and county-specific take-back initiatives to assist everyone in finding take-back programs near their homes. Kiosks for Drug Collection The installation of drug collection kiosks at convenient places by many retailers and hospitals contributes to the success of community drug collecting operations. For example, Walgreens based in Deerfield and Stericycle Environmental Solutions based in Lake Forest, Illinois, recently teamed up to install more than 600 drug collection kiosks in Walgreens stores nationwide to provide consumers with a safe, convenient, and accessible way to return unused medication to Walgreens. It's as simple as dropping a letter in the mailbox to dispose of expired medication at one of these kiosks. Furthermore, the availability of these kiosks helps to ensure that consumers have access to drug disposal that is safe, simple, and free. Apart from being handy for frequent customers, kiosks also can improve sales volume by increasing storefoot traffic and serving as a public service marketing tool for a company's brand. Participants in these programs should be aware of the types of medications that can and cannot be accepted by the programs. Most pharmaceuticals, vitamins, ointments, liquids, and lotions can be accepted, but needles, inhalers, hydrogen peroxide, and illegal narcotics will not be accepted. More informed purchases. Of course, the most straightforward method to reduce the number of prescriptions ending up in the waste stream is for citizens to make more conscious purchases. For example, consumers should only purchase the medications they require rather than stocking up on various medications when unwell. Consumers should also avoid purchasing large quantities of medication and instead ask their doctors for lesser doses of medication when the scenario calls for it. Customers can improve upon the disposal of prescription medications by making more thoughtful selections that are both socially and environmentally conscientious. It is anticipated that homes and communities across the country will benefit from reduced contamination and safer areas due to this initiative. Scope care is a secure and healing environment for patients and carers seeking to make every part relatable and motivating. From new and educational social material to stress-relieving walks through the green spaces. Subscribe to see more videos like this.